Well, today a man who is serving time for driving drunk and hitting and killing a former state lawmaker with his vehicle was up for parole. Back in May of 2016, James Ham was sentenced to 14 years in prison for the crime. But today, less than 15 months later, he asked to be released from prison early. News Channel 11's Carissa Winstead was at that parole hearing today. Carissa, what happened? It was a very emotional hearing this morning as family members of Mike Locke, who was killed by James Ham while putting up campaign signs along the road in 2014, told board members why he did not deserve to be released from prison. Now the family will have to wait up to 10 days before a decision is made. One by one, those who loved and knew Mike Locke best. My brother, Debbie's husband, and Hunter's dad told a parole board why James Ham did not deserve to be released from prison. And the reason he should be denied parole is one, because of the seriousness and egregiousness of the act. This is homicide. On June 23, 2014, James Ham hit and killed Mike Locke as he was placing campaign signs along Fort Henry Drive for now State Representative Bud Holsey. Ham was sentenced to 14 years last May for vehicular homicide by intoxication and leaving the scene of an accident with a death. But now he's up for parole. The outrage in the community is over the fact that we shouldn't even be here. He just got sentenced 15 months ago. Thursday's hearing has been especially difficult for Locke's family. This process just keeps opening the wound. There is, there's been no time to heal. During the hearing, several of Locke's family members, along with District Attorney Barry Staubas, State Representative Bud Holsey, and Sullivan County Sheriff Wayne Anderson were in attendance. It's a real testament. Mr. Locke and, his, and to what he stood for in the community. Debbie Locke gathered more than 5,500 signatures for a petition against Ham's parole, more than 10% of the population of Kingsport. That is, um, in my opinion, the public speaking very loud about how they feel about parole and drunk driving and stricter laws. It has not been long enough. During the hearing, parole member Gay Gregson declined Ham's parole for two years, but three more votes are needed, which could take up to 10 days, or for the Locke family, an eternity. And then the process starts all over again. In Johnson City, Carissa Winstead, News Channel 11, in your corner. If Ham does not receive parole, the board will decide when the next hearing will be. It will take four concurring votes to reach a final decision.